Hey guys, Tad here. Welcome to my channel. Hope everybody's having a wonderful day. All right, so we are back again with our Resident Evil 7 Biohazard blind playthrough. Um, the last episode we found Mia and she is infected or infested or something with something. Don't know what it is. But she's definitely been transformed into something here. Um, she seems to be superhuman strength. And we shoved a hatchet almost completely through her neck and she is still kicking. So something is definitely off with her now. When she attacked us, her eyes were like solid black whenever she like transforms. So... I'm giving her the nickname that they transformed her into a black-eyed kid, so I'm sure that's not what it is, but I'm going with it, because it just, it kind of suits. So we just found the fuse that goes in there, I'm sure, and we're going to put it in there and keep going here. But I have a feeling, like I said in that last episode, that once we do this, something's going to happen, because she just walked by after we got the fuse. I'm assuming it was her. We haven't seen anybody else. But, so we're going to go ahead and stick this in here and see what happens. Okay. Fuse. Use in a fuse box to restore power. Yes. Okay. Well, I heard something directly above me. Oh, you know what? I bet you it's that button that we push up there by the save. The um the save tape deck where you save. Okay. Whoa! It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, it's, it's really okay, sure. I know you didn't mean to hurt me. Dude, chick, get away from me. See? I knew it. Yeah, black eyed kid. Get off me, hose beast. It fucking get off. Ah, what the fuck? Dude, she fucking stuck me with the fucking... With a screwdriver. Hurry, get it off of there. She's coming back. What the fuck is in her hand? A chainsaw. Get get this off here, dude. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get it. Oh! Dude, she just fucking cut off my hand. Okay, yeah, I'm fucked. Is this supposed to happen? Because now I'm missing a hand. Yeah, I'll burn it all down with you in it, you freaking crazy chick. What the hell? Look, man, can I get my hand back? <laughs> oh, you can, look. Pick up your hand. <laughs> okay, well, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I guess if I get out of here, I can go to the hospital. You better get a tourniquet on that before you bleed out, though. <laughs> He's just walking around with his hand all, or his arm all spurting blood out. And like, okay, this is kind of cool. Like, I'm not going to go into shock here, or I'm not going to, like, pass out from blood loss, or ah, I'm, I'm just going to keep cruising along. Yeah, I think, yeah, it's green now. It says stairs. Oh, right there. I guess on the last episode I could have came up here, but I didn't know and, and save before we do this, but. Let's see here. Isn't this where that Zoe? I don't know who Zoe is, but isn't this where she told us to go? Yeah, I'd be grunting too, dude. Whoa, what? Oh, fucking mannequin. Ammos! We're gonna get... Yep, right there. Gun. Ooh, what is that? Okay, fine. That looks like a 1911. First aid. Um, I don't think a first aid is gonna grow my hand back. <laughs> Are we gonna have to go through the whole game now with only one hand? Or is he gonna die and we play as somebody else? I wonder if that's what happens. Kind of like how the news crew... No, because but the beginning of the game was him talking to... Or him getting that video from Mia. 
So he's got to be the main character. How, how the hell are you going to go through a whole game with only one hand? All right, I don't trust what's behind here. Damn, look at that. The paint and stuff looks so real on like how it does on the old doors. And they did a good job with the graphics on this. Seven out of twelve. And there's more fucking mannequins and a bed. Yeah, why don't you just take a nap while you're at it, dude? What the hell? Was that the door shutting or something? Yes. Yeah, these fucking mannequins. Okay, so that was block. So right bumper is... The first aid, which there's kind of no point to it. You're missing your whole hand. Third door. Oh, more ammo. We're going to have some kind of fight coming up because they're giving us a lot of ammo and a gun finally. Now, how is he going to change the clip on this thing with only one hand? Right? I mean, how is he even going to put a new clip in? Check everything. Because Resident Evil games likes to hide things everywhere. Maybe they'll give us a fucking fake hand or something. Alright, let's get out of here. What the? Okay, yeah. Okay, should have saw that one coming. Oh, shit. Get away from me. Fucking tearing shit up. Oh shit, where am I gonna go? How is he doing this with with the hand missing? Oh shit! It's behind me. Oh shit. Where the fuck is she at? I just got gutted. <laughs> damn, she's fucking fast. <laughs> How many damn shots does it take to get her ass to drop? Fighting Maya. Maya is dangerous when she goes berserk. Do whatever it takes to stop. Oh, I'm doing whatever it takes. I've shot her in the head like six or seven times already. Okay, so we're back to this. So let's go get this stuff. I don't know how in the heck he's okay. changing. Fine. How he's changing clips with only one hand. Okay, what's that? Oh shit, wrong. I don't like this right button or right shoulder button for healing. I have a feeling I'm going to keep hitting that by accident and wasting my healing stuff. 
And how, well, I guess the blood, I guess that's how you tell how hurt you are, is by how much blood's alongside the screen here. Yeah, sure you do. Oh, that's pretty gnarly. It's got blood all over the gun, too, from your hand bleeding, I guess. I want that damn chainsaw. Where the fuck is that thing at? Get this shit away from her. I'll take that chainsaw and cut her head off right now. Right, give me this chainsaw. Can't take it. Cut her head off, cut her legs off, cut her arms off. Cut everything off so she can't fucking... What the... Welcome to the family, okay. <clears throat> Welcome to the family. Okay. So now I just get my ass kidnapped. Right. Welcome to the family, son. Yeah, she took a lot of bullets to kill her. I wonder if we can upgrade guns or something because... Damn, he's carrying both of us. Yeah, because it's, if it's going to take, you know, 10, 15 shots per en enemy, this is going to take a lot of ammo. Or it's going to be a lot like um, Alien Insert uh, Isolation, where it's, it's more of a hiding game. You have work to do. What the hell? Oh, what the fuck? Dude, he's fucking stapled my hand back on. Well, how is that even going to work? You got to reconnect all the nerves and the blood vessels and muscle and all that other stuff. Bone. Unless they injected me with some kind of virus or thing or whatever that makes them so, like, strong or whatever. Some kind of regenerating thing. Where? Where am I? Uh, oh. What the hell? And shine, sleepyhead. It's time for supper. I guess I am part of the Who family now. <laughs> Where's Mia? Eat it. It's good. Dumb some bitch wasn't no good if it hit him. Oh, I ain't gonna eat this shit. <laughs> <laughs> what is it with all these people? They like to cut off hands. <laughs> what the hell? Dude, get away from me. He got to have his supper. 
I ain't eating that shit. Oh, that's the fuck is that? Look like intestine or something. <laughs> this dude's just all cool. My hand's gone. I ain't eating that shit, dude. What the fuck? Okay. You cutting out my tongue or something? God damn it. I'll bet it's that cop again. Or Zoe, whoever Zoe is. <laughs> Are we in the same house? I'm assuming we're in the... No, because he was carrying us through the outside in the rain and stuff. So we're at some other house now. What's up with this chick? She did. Oh, is she the one from that picture? Where, where, where did that guy go? So they just keep like dead granny around, just so like she can still be part of the family or what? Hey, dead granny. Whoa, what the? She ain't dead. Oh, uh, that's kind of creepy. Um, why are you watching me? Dude, I need my gun and I would put a bullet right in your head. Well, at least I have a hand back now, but how is that even possible? Oh, well, okay, let's see. Oh, look, I got some kind of watch now. So I'm green, so I guess that's I'm at full health. And I have nothing in my inventory. Okay. What was that other stuff on the bottom? Yellow. Someone's knocking. I guess they leave just Granny here to watch me? The Unveiled Abyss. Okay. Oh. Select an item to use. So I gotta put something. Okay. Ah, oh, look at those speakers. Three missing during Urbex trip. State authorities are asking for help locating three men. Oh, is this the three men from the... the th okay. Went missing during their travels to Dolve Parish from New Orleans on the 9th of this month. The missing men have been identified as Peter Walken, Andre Strickland, and Clancy Javis. The three produce videos for the internet. Oh, okay, so they're like a YouTube. Yeah, like it's the popular thing now. They're going to like haunted houses and abandoned mines and stuff. And so videos for the internet and travel to Dolve to shoot footage for their latest production. Their videos consist mostly of the group exploring abandoned buildings and haunted houses. Okay, so that's that's who those people at the beginning were. Now, oh, there's something down there. Herb. Oh, so there are herbs in this. Bullets again. So, um, it seems like those people were killed, but were they really killed? Or they turned also and become part of the family, whatever the family means. I mean, they seem like they're a family, but. Nico's hardware, saw, rope, pet, pet collar. You can get up. Oh, I guess you can. $563. How is a pet collar going to cost 400 bucks? <laughs> Somehow that seems kind of odd. Granny, quit watching. That's you're very disturbing. Oh, what the fuck? Look, it does look like intestine and shit down there on the second shelf. That's just, that is just foul. And they wanted me to eat that shit. Look, another. So there are green herbs. So. What? A plant containing nutrients that help to heal wounds. Consumed to recover a small amount of health. Can
anti like ex let me see escape the house I can move it huh I don't know how I bring up that menu to try to combine that you can combine two green herbs right you used to be able to to make a more powerful one of course the best would be green and red but a boot Whoa, what's that say Evelyn okay so a boot with the name Evelyn on it and I hear a bunch of flies buzzing around. it doesn't surprise me but oh So I'm going to need a key or something to get through that. I don't have my bolt cutters anymore. Okay. Yeah, buzz, buzz, buzz. Hey, Granny. You're not doing a very good job at keeping an eye on me, are you? You just need like a crowbar or something and bust those boards off. Go out the window and be gone. It looks fragile. Maybe you can break it with something. I don't have anything to break things with. Garage. Like I couldn't read that before. <laughs> it's secured with tape that cannot be removed by hand. Um, who can't remove duct tape by hand? <laughs> okay, well, let's just keep going here. Your stairs are missing. <laughs> oh, that's the wind blowing a curtain over there. Oh, shit. Can you lean around corners? Oh shit, he's coming. No, I gotta get... Is he coming? Yeah, he's right there. Oh shit. Okay, don't come down here, dude. Go see grandma or something. Oh, you know. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Where do I go? Where to go? Oh, fuck you, man. Ah, get off me. I can't hit you or anything. Arms in the air. You're part of the family now. No, I'm not. Get away from me. Ah. Get off me, dude. Where do I go? Who's okay, telling have it your way. Where in the fuck did he go? Sounds like he's behind. I can't tell where he's at. dude Where are you? Ah, 
Now, how he didn't see me come down here, I don't know. He was right behind me. Where the fuck did he go? Oh, shit. You can't hide from me, boy. I am already, aren't I? He's right there. Dude. Ah! Oh, that's just fucking lovely. There's nowhere for me to go. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's... We only got about three minutes left on this episode, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it here, and I will see you guys on the next episode. All right, thanks for watching.